Have you ever wondered about the history of perfume and how it has evolved over time? From ancient civilizations to modern-day fragrance trends, perfumery has a fascinating story to tell. Join us as we explore the origins of perfume, its development throughout history, and its impact on our culture today. Whether you're a fragrance enthusiast or simply curious about the world of perfumery, this video is for you. Welcome to You Learn Today! Historical Origins Perfumery has a rich and fascinating history that dates all the way back to ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Greece, and Rome. These cultures were known for their love of fragrances and their use of perfumes in various aspects of life. The word perfume comes from the Latin phrase per meaning thorough and fumus meaning smoke. The French later gave the name parfum to the smells produced by burning incense. Indeed, the first form of perfume was incense, first made by the Mesopotamians around 4,000 years ago. Ancient cultures burned a variety of resins and wood at their religious ceremonies. Incense made its way to Egypt around 3000 BC, but until the beginning of Egypt's Golden Age, perfumes were only used in religious rituals. Fragrance was of great importance in Egyptian high society. In fact, Egyptian mythology even notes the god Nefertem as being the lord of perfume. He is often depicted carrying water lilies, which were a common ingredient in ancient perfume. Egyptians made perfume by distilling natural ingredients with non-scented oils. The most popular scents were floral, woodsy, and fruity. Incense was also used ceremonially, and the trade of incense and myrrh played a large part in Egyptian international relations. It's said that the great Egyptian leaders like Queen Cleopatra and Queen Hatshepsut used fragrances to scent their bodies, quarters, baths, and even took perfume with them to the grave. Arabic Inventions the art of creating perfume reached new heights and played a key role in Islamic culture during the Islamic Golden Era. The perfumes produced by the Arabs, which were derived from a range of organic materials like musk, rose, and amber, were well known. In Islamic culture, perfumery had religious significance in addition to being a luxury. Islam supported the use of perfumes, and the Prophet Muhammad was known to use them himself. The subject of fragrance was extensively written on by Islamic scholars in various books. But one of the most significant innovations during the Islamic Golden Age was the development of distillation equipment, which made it possible for perfumers to extract essential oils from natural substances. As a result, new perfumes were created and perfumers were able to make odors that were more sophisticated and complex. At the same time, alcohol was also proven to be a solvent for perfumes. As opposed to scents created with oil-based solvents, these fragrances were lighter and more delicate because of this. Even today, this method is still employed to make contemporary scents. The Islamic Golden Age saw the establishment of the first perfume industry in the world. Perfumers established their workshops and factories, producing fragrances on a large scale. These perfumes were not only used in Islamic countries, but were also exported to Europe and other parts of the world. Renaissance Era as the perfumes made their way to Europe, the Renaissance era also had a major impact on the industry. During this time, the French became famous for their luxurious fragrances, which were associated with wealth, power, and status. Perfumery became a highly respected profession, and many perfumers worked for the French nobility, creating bespoke fragrances for their clients. The use of fragrances was seen as a way to enhance one's beauty and charm, and to demonstrate one's social status and wealth. In addition to the Arabs, they also developed new techniques for extracting essential oils from natural ingredients, such as enflorage and maceration. Enflorage was a process that involved placing flowers, such as jasmine or tuberose, onto a layer of fat, which would then absorb the fragrance over time. The fat would then be scraped off and the fragrance would be extracted using alcohol. This process was time-consuming and expensive, but allowed perfumers to create fragrances that were incredibly complex and rich. Maceration involves soaking natural ingredients such as flowers or herbs in a solvent such as alcohol or oil to extract their fragrances. This allowed perfumers to create fragrances that were lighter and more delicate than those created using traditional methods. With increasing demand, the perfume-making industry was on the rise, with many perfumers establishing their workshops and factories. The French city of Grasse became known as the perfume capital of the world, with many famous perfume houses such as Fragonard and Molinard still operating in the city today. 
Arguably the most iconic fragrance of this time is the Eau de Cologne, created by Italian perfumer Giovanni Maria Farina. It was said to evoke the scent of an Italian spring morning and is still available today. Turning Point the mass manufacture of perfumes and the development of fresh synthetic fragrances made the Industrial Revolution a turning point in the history of perfumery. The industry was significantly impacted by the numerous chemistry and technological advancements that occurred at the time. The invention of synthetic scents was one of many important innovations. When synthetic aromatic compounds like coumarin and vanillin were discovered, perfumers were able to produce perfumes that were both more affordable and of higher quality than those manufactured with natural components. Also, it made it possible for perfumers to develop new scents that just wouldn't have been conceivable with just natural materials. Another significant development was the introduction of new technologies for the extraction of essential oils. Steam distillation was introduced, which allowed perfumers to extract essential oils from plant material much more efficiently than before. This led to the creation of new fragrances and allowed perfumers to experiment with a wider range of natural ingredients. It signaled the start of perfume manufacture in bulk. Large-scale perfume factories were built and the production of perfume developed into a tremendously lucrative industry. This made perfumes more accessible and affordable for the general public. Present Day Now, to complete the story, we have to jump to the present day. Modern perfumery is a dynamic and fascinating field that is changing to reflect consumer tastes and emerging trends. Today, there are many different types of perfumes accessible, from classic spray bottles to solid perfumes and roll-ons. The increased demand for perfumes that are more natural and organic, like those used in ancient Egypt or the Islamic Golden Era, is an interesting development that has occurred in recent years. Customers are searching for more sustainable and environmentally friendly alternatives as they become more aware of the effects of synthetic substances on the environment and their health. In terms of fragrance trends, floral and fruity scents continue to be popular, but there is also growing interest in more unusual and exotic scents. For example, perfumers are now experimenting with ingredients such as oud, a rare and expensive wood that has a rich and complex fragrance, and ambergris, a substance found in the digestive system of whales that has a unique and musky scent. So here's a question for our audience. What kind of fragrance do you prefer and why? Are you drawn to classic scents such as rose and lavender or do you prefer more exotic and unusual fragrances? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content.